In this short lecture, we'll look at metrics for control of performance. The first metric is sensitivity. Sensitivity basically tells you how the system performance changes with respect to changes in system parameters. Tracking is essentially a metric that measures the ability of a system to closely follow the reference signal. Disturbance rejection is a metric of the ability of a control system to reject uh, disturbance inputs. Sensitivity. So sensitivity basically tells you how small changes in system parameters affect system performance. For example, if I have a control system like so, this is the plant, this is the controller here. The controller is just a proportional controller. So all you have to do is find a value for k to get certain performance characteristics, say rise time. So let's say you found a particular k, k0, that satisfies your design requirements, which is uh, rise time being less than or equal to tr0. Now, over time, let's say the controller degrades, like everything else that degrades over time, and your k0 changes to k0 plus or minus delta k. So you would like to know how does the performance change. In this case, how the rise time changes. So you would like to know what this delta TR is to make sure that over time, you still get performance that is acceptable to the customer. So that's all uh, what sensitivity is all about. So formally, the definition of sensitivity, the sensitivity of function Y with respect to a parameter K is the ratio of percentage change in Y to the percentage change in K. And if I write that down, sensitivity S of the function Y with respect to parameter K is ratio of percentage change in Y to the ratio of percentage change in k. And if you write that, this is how it looks. dy by dk times k divided by y. Now let's look at an example here. Um, we are looking at a control system where you have a controller d, plant g, and then there are three parameters here, k, a, and b. Now we are asked to find the sensitivity of the steady state error ESS. Now that's your function to changes in parameters in A and B, but actually I'm going to do with respect to parameter K. So this is the error signal here, you know, the error is the output minus the reference is the error. Now you need to find uh, expression for the error E. So if you go here, this signal is DE. If I go there, the signal is GDE. And therefore, this signal here, this is GDE going in here with a negative sign, add R to that. So the signal here is R minus GDE, which is also equal to E. And therefore I can write E equal to R minus GDE, and write an expression for E in terms of the reference signal R and the controller and the plant. So this is my expression for error. Now you know that steady state error ESS is limited as s tends to 0 of s times e, which is this expression here. Now let's say r is a step function. If r is a step function, then the Laplace transform of step is 1 divided by s. So steady state error ESS is limited as s tends to 0 s times 1 divided by s divided by 1 plus gd. So this s cancels with this s. And therefore, steady state error is 1 divided by 1 plus limit as s tends to 0 of gd. Now let's substitute for gd and see what limit of s, 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 limit of s tends to 0 of gd is. So that is equal to limit of s tends to 0 of k times s plus a divided by s plus b. This is your d times 1 divided by s plus 1. So if you set z, uh, s equal to 0, this drops out, this drops out, this drops out, and what you get is k a divided by b, and then you substitute that in here to get this expression, and I have just multi cross multiplied by b to get this expression. Now 
sensitivity of steady state error with respect to parameter k is dss of tk times k divided by ess we need to do this differentiation and this you know need to know your pre-calculus to do this and if you substitute everything this is what you get this is the expression that we get right now just notice that this is this this thing is right here I substituted this for here and then here k comes in here and ess I get from here right here and this b plus k cancels one of these b cancels with this so what this basically tells me is if there is a positive change in k there will be a negative change in ess that's what this negative sign is all about let's look at another example here uh, we are asked to find the sensitivity of the rise time with respect to the parameter a now this is our uh, closed loop control system controller is given by 1 divided by s plus a plant is given by k divided by s plus b so we need to find first the expression for rise time so find the closed loop transfer function that's a closed loop transfer function you put in all the plants, substitute for the plant, substitute for the controller, you end up with this closed loop transfer function. Now, uh, this closed loop transfer function is a second order system without zeros, so you can write expressions for um, omega n, which is this is omega n squared, so omega n is root of k plus ab, 2 zeta omega n is a plus b. So the rise time is tr is 1.8 divided by omega n which is 1.8 divided by root of k plus a b if we do the sensitivity of rise time with respect to parameter a that is dtr divided by d da times a divided by tr this is dtr with our derivative of tr with respect to a this is a this is tr and that's your sensitivity of the rise time with respect to parameter a again notice that this has a negative sign what that means is if a changes in a positive direction tr will change in a negative direction and vice versa